Hello fellow Creality Ender 3 S1, S1 Pro, and S1 Plus owners. I'm sitting here next to an S1, and today we're going to talk about something simple but often confusing to new owners. And that is, we are going to change the nozzle. Of course, you could also use this opportunity to upgrade the nozzle to a different size or material. To get started, I want you to find yourself a tool similar to this, or even a cheap adjustable wrench. On top of that, I want you to find yourself a little wrench that came with your machine that fits a standard nozzle, or a six millimeter socket. Of course, you will also need a nozzle. In front of me, I have a pack of standard Creality brass nozzles. To get the ball rolling, we're gonna to wanna to bring the hot end up higher so we can have easier access underneath where the nozzle is. To do that, just choose Move Axis, Z, and raise it up a whole bunch. Now that your nozzle is nice and high, let's just have a look over here behind the cooling fan. This is where we will be doing most of our work. The first thing we're going to do is simply reach up and pull this rubber boot off. Yeah, you heard me. It's just a cheap old rubber boot. Just peel it off. It might be stuck, so be careful. Wouldn't be a bad idea to replace it if you have a new one. You will notice the machine is on. That is because we are going to do this with the nozzle warm. Simply use your firmware and choose the option that heats the hot end. On mine, it says preheat PLA. This is where you may find I do things a little differently because I'm not interested in accidentally shorting out my printer or electrocuting myself. Once the hot end is heated, I am going to turn the printer off. I am going to fit my tool of choice over the nozzle and then I'm going to lock the heat block in place with the wrench and I'm going to gently loosen the nozzle. You will feel the nozzle break. Once that happens, you are free to remove the nozzle. It should come out easily. If you continue getting movement in your heat block, keep the wrench on it. And if the heat block should move out of place a little bit when you did it, just use the wrench and straighten it back out. It's no big deal, it's not the end of the world. Take your new nozzle and gently start it into the heat block. If you've allowed excessive time for your heat block to cool, you might want to warm it back up again. Lock up the block and tighten the nozzle. Take that silicone boot and just pop it up over the hot end, making sure the sides clip into place up here and up here. And that's it. You've replaced the nozzle on your Ender 3 S1. And there it is. You have replaced your Creality Ender 3 S1, S1 Pro, or S1 Plus nozzle. There's some weird information floating around the internet leading people to believe you have to take apart the whole thing to do that. As I've just shown you, you do not. And it's a super easy job that you should feel comfortable doing. Whenever you're troubleshooting a mysterious print quality issue or you've had a really significant clog, I would go ahead and make changing the nozzle part of your troubleshooting methods. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and changing the nozzle on your Ender 3 S1 printer was today's adventure.